Hello, this is another tutorial in the advanced series for Roblox scripting. Now, I know I haven't done a tutorial in a long time because I was busy, but I just decided to upload another one because people people were asking. So, here we go. Now, this one in this tutorial we're going to be learning about mouses. So, there's two ways of getting a mouse or two ways that I know of. There might there might be more, don't know, but I know of two. Um, we'll begin by putting a tool into the starter pack and putting a handle in the tool and putting a local script into the tool. Now let's test, uh, let's say uh, tool equals script dot parent. Okay. Uh, player mouse equals game dot players dot local player. Now remember here how you can get your player out of game.players when you're in a local script, okay? When you're using a local script, you can use the local player to get your player from. And um, so now that we've got the player, uh, get the mouse from it. Get mouse. Okay, so get mouse is just a function, inbuilt function, um, that is used on your player and it returns your mouse into this little variable here, okay? So now that we've got the player mouse, I'm going to show you the other way of getting the mouse, and then I'm going to show you afterwards how to actually like change properties of your mouse and how to use the properties of your mouse. So let's make an event, the equipped event, tool dot equipped. Oops, uh, equipped connect function uh, end. Okay. Okay. Oh goodness sake. And good. Now now we can get the mouse from the tool, so let's put M in there. Let's put M inside the parentheses of this function. So whenever the equipped event is called, M here is going to be equal to your mouse. Okay? So it's just like in the touched event how when you put, uh, let me just give you an example, game.workspace.something.touched connect uh, function, whoops, and, okay, so remember how we can put a part in here. So when you, well, when you touch the part, then this here, variable here, part will be equal to the part that you have touched and then you can like change it you can change that part you can say part dot transparency equals whatever so when we touch the brick we want it to go transparent you can do that same thing with the mouse uh, with the equipped event when you equip your tool it's going to give you a mouse variable and that is going to be m here you can be called whatever you want you can call it m r t whatever you can call it i'm going to call it m okay Actually, no, I'm going to call it mouse. We've got player mouse here, and we've got mouse here from the event. Let's call this event mouse and player mouse. Now, I, I tried this earlier, and when I tried to change the icon of player mouse, it wouldn't let me do that because it's a player mouse. I don't know why. So, if you want to change the icon of the mouse, then you have to use the event mouse, okay? This little here thing, event mouse. So event mouse dot icon equals I think I've already got a asset loaded. Okay. Equals that. Whoops. Now an asset is just I think I can't remember if I've taught you what assets are already, but if you want to get the asset of a decal then get the decal that you want, stick it onto a random brick somewhere in the game. Uh, let me just do that to show you. Part, get your decal. Let's get Pikachu. And now, double click it, texture, done. Look at that, here's the asset of the decal. And when you're changing a mouse icon, you need to use the asset, and it gives you the asset URL 
with the asset ID. Okay, this is not the same as the ID on the website. The ID on the website is usually one digit or one um, one number higher than the asset ID. Okay, so this is the asset. Just copy the whole thing, uh, slap it into your script like that. Boom, and you've changed the icon of the mouse. Okay, so now if I go into test play solo it should well, it should change my icon when I equip the tool so let's try that here we go you see that look at that look at Pikachu wow so when I equip my tool I now have Pikachu as my icon okay so now let's go here and say I want to get some uh, X coordinates whenever I click the mouse. Okay, so tool dot activated. Actually, no, I could do it like this. I t when when I click the tool, I can either use the tool dot activated uh, connect event. Okay, I could use the tool activated connect event, or I could do it a different way. Um, I think it's activated. I haven't done the tutorial in a long time, I can't remember. But you should find it in the object browser. But anyway, you could also do it like this. So event mouse dot mouse button one click function end. Mm hmm I forgot to connect. Mm. Okay, that's good. Now, let me just go to the object browser, view the mouse. Here are all the all the events that you can use for the mouse. So, when button one down, uh, key down. So when I press a key on the keyboard, uh, when the mouse moves. So when when I actually move the mouse like this, we um, when the mouse is idle. So when it's not moving. Uh, these are all the events you can use, just look them up if you want. And here are all the properties of the mouse. So, icon, uh, hit, so this shows the coordinate of the phone where the mouse is currently hitting, blah blah blah. So I reckon when the mouse is over a part, then this hit property is equal to the actual part of the... So look, my mouse is now over this Pikachu brick. It's it's hovered over the Pikachu brick. So hit property would be equal to this brick here. Okay? So that's what it is. And I think I've done the wrong event. Down. Button one down. That's the event name. So event mouse dot button one down connect function. And let's go ahead and print uh, mouse dot x and mouse dot y uh, yes I'm gonna lay it out nicely x is equal to mouse dot x and y is equal to mouse dot y okay it's going to print the x and the y coordinates of my mouse okay so I don't actually need to use event mouse I can actually use my player mouse to get the the coordinates, okay. So see how I've made my player mouse variable up here, which is which gets the mouse from my local player, and my event mouse just gets the mouse from the event, okay. So I've called the mouse button one down event through my event mouse, and I'm now printing the coordinates of the mouse with my player mouse, okay. So let's go to play solo. And I'm going to show you how that works. I really don't want to make this tutorial too long. Now, I equip my mouse, Pikachu, look at that. I click, and you can see how it's shown my X coordinate and my Y coordinate. Okay? So whenever I click, wherever, it doesn't matter where I click, see, it's printing my 
x and y coordinates. I mean, I could use this in a script. Say, I click somewhere, and it needs to be in a certain place. Um, it would get the x and y coordinate of the mouse, and well, yeah, I've clicked there, and you can do whatever you want with it now. So that's how you do that. Pretty cool. Um, I can also use the move event. So whenever I actually move the mouse, it's going to print. So this should just constantly print a huge stream of numbers, coordinates. Okay, so equip. I'm moving my mouse. And you see how it's just constantly printing uh, the coordinates of the mouse. Okay, pretty cool. Right, so that's how you do that. That's how you use your mouse. Uh, let me just talk you through some of the properties of the mouse. So you've seen X and Y, we've been through hit and icon. Uh, what about origin? So the, the coordinate frame where the mouse is not clicking. Uh, you can find out what that means. <laughs> I haven't I haven't actually scripted in quite a while, so I've, I'm forgetting what these things mean. But target. Oh no. Okay, so target is the part that the mouse is over. Okay, and if it's not over a part, then it'll be equal to nil. Hit is actually, I think when when the mouse clicks on something, then it gets that, it gets the part that it clicked. But you need to find this these things out. Uh, just experiment with them. If I tell you everything, then you're not going to learn it in a proper way. You're just going to get all the answers from me. Um, so yeah, just play around with all the properties of the mouse, and see what you can do with it okay I've taught you everything you need to know so in the next tutorial um, we can start to begin we can being we can begin to carry on with the tools uh, tutorials if that made any sense because I've, I've I think I've, I've began the tool to uh, the tools tutorial part number one so part number two and part number three are yet to come so that's what I'm going to be doing in the next two tutorials okay so I'll see you in the next tutorial then. Bye.